Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and today I will make an overview of latest stable version of Renovate Ice. Compared to the 3.0 this 4.0 version brings out lots of new goodies, I will show you later on. Here is some info taken from the official changelog. The ROM is completely rebased on Samsung's official QG5 firmware and if you are wondering if it comes with the well known specific QG5 heating issues, the answer is no. The Renovate kernel CPU code was reverted to QE7 source in order to avoid heating problems. All previous mods and tweaks from the Rice app were ported from the 3.0 version. I also made an in-depth review of that one, if you want you may check it out in the card section of this video. Alongside, various new features were added like the ability to change the navbar color, status bar icon colors, navbar height, etc. Will this stable release manage to get a 5 out of 5 perfect wicked score? Well, let's find out. If you liked this team and want to know how I did it, check the video in the card section. Anyways, this is wicked and that means I'll do this review in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Let's find out. I will show you what is this ROM all about, how fast and stable it feels and of course the usual Antutu benchmark and gaming test, where I'll put the GPU to the test by running Need for Speed No Limits. Without further ado, let's get wicked. Now into the installation part, it is mandatory that you have QG5 or newer firmware installed on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. You can check the video in the card section if you want to know how to update your device to the latest firmware available. So if you're running firmwares like QF7, QE7, this ROM won't boot up. Also. You will need latest TWRP version 3.1.1-2. If you don't know how to install TWRP, go again and check out my tutorial on how to do it in the card section. Into TWRP, it is recommended to make an Android backup. Then, go to install and select Renovate Ice 4.0. A ROM installer should pop up. Now into the pre-flash options, I recommend you to perform a full wipe if your previous ROM wasn't Renovate Ice. In my case it was Renovate R148 so I'll try installing without wiping so that all my data and settings will remain intact. During the process of Aroma Installer you will get various options to choose from like rooting methods, Samsung App Debloater, Google App Debloater, Market Debloater, various tweaks and CSC features and of course at the end you should have the ROM installed on your device. Take in mind that if you wiped your device the booting process will take up to 10 minutes so be patient. My device booted up and surprisingly even though I went for no wipe option, I couldn't experience any lags, force closes or whatsoever. What was even more impressive is that with the updated Renovate kernel my Galaxy S8 was blazing fast. Anyways, apart from the usual speed improvements, the main advantage of this ROM is that it comes with a really great ROM control app called RICE. If you encounter false closes of it, make sure you update it to the latest version in Google Play Store. In the app, you'll find not only tons of features regarding the system UI, navbar, lock screen, but the thing is that, at least to me, it feels perfect. It has just the amount of customization options I need. Most of them are shown in the previous video of stable 3.0 version, but some of them are new like the ability to customize the Wi-Fi, signal, mobile data, airplane mode, icons, the clock color, notification color. So for example, you can make all of them red if you like it. You can also change the color of the navigation bar icons. As you can see, I color them red. There is right now an option to backup and restore the color settings so that you can easily set them back if you flash a new version of Renovate Ties, for example, by choosing full wipe. As always, I ran an Antutu benchmark test and even though benchmarks these days can be off by thousands of points, this Renovate Ice 4.0 got a really big one. I can't really complain about anything on this ROM. It is rock stable, has all the features I would possibly need. Most of the minor bugs it had in previous stages like the panorama mode not working are gone. So to sum up, there are only two things to be said. Renovate Ice ROM 4.0 gets a wicked score of 5 out of 5 and I have to say, for me, this is currently the best ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Anyways, that was the overview for today, I hope you like it, if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel. Until next time, take care, wicked is out, bye bye.